Okay, so next up in this KK setup, we're going to get everything configured and run uh, the KK with the default settings in this video. Then we'll follow up with actual tuning to get everything dialed in. So for starters, you'll notice that I have just motor one here connected uh, to get power to the board. We're going to go down, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, the motor layout. Hit enter and let's go down to our quad X mode. Yes, we want, definitely want to do that. And we have motor one, power to the board. So that's here, then we're gonna wire up motor two, three, and four. So that will be all of our outputs. And if you notice by the screen, LCD, we have one, two, three, and four. So we'll get those wired up. Okay, so all of our Motors are now wired up. We're going to go ahead and accept that and go back. Back. We'll go up and we'll just show our motor layout. So one, two, three, and four. Now we'll actually here in a little bit uh, test the motor spin direction for each of the, each of the uh, motors. Okay, so now we're back to the default mode. Uh, the KK sh should be ready to accept the inputs, but as you notice, uh, what's interesting about this AeroSky quad, it's very similar to the DJI setup, so we'll actually need to mount the top plate. Okay, and as you can see, I've just gone ahead and mounted the KK board on the top plate, just uh, for simplicity's sake. Mm -hmm. Just a side note, I've gone ahead and mounted it with this uh, foam pad that basically is comes with your KK board. Now here's my KK-1, keep it around for sentimental reasons, but um, this is the foam board. It was actually the lid for this that I cut and uh, hot glued to the frame and then hot glued the board to the top. And that's just a good thing to do uh, to mount your board with some sort of vibration dampening material to you know, keep your uh, gyroscope and accelerometer isolated from those vibrations. We're going to do our ESC calibration routine. Now, if you're familiar with calibrating ESCs, you can normally just take one of your leads and plug it to the uh, throttle channel on your receiver and set you know, your full throttle and then your zero throttle endpoints. But uh, what I wanna do is actually show you how you can do all four with the KK 2.0 board. Okay, we'll start by disconnecting the power to our board. And let's go ahead on our transmitter. We're going to give it full throttle. Transmitter is currently off. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the transmitter on. Okay, it's on now. Now we're going to have a just a one or two second delay here when I power put power to the to the board. And then what I'll do is I'll hit buttons one and four on the KK input window. And when you see that throttle pass through, you'll hear the, the beep of the ESC, and then you want to take your throttle all the way down and your ESCs will beep again. You can let off your one and four buttons and now your e all four ESCs are calibrated. After calibrating the ESCs, we want to just check our uh, motor spin direction for all four. And I'm gonna go ahead and with the throttle stick down and to the right. And you can now see that the KK is armed. So I'll give it a little bit of throttle Check the motor directions, make sure they're spinning properly as defined by the motor layout that we looked at earlier. And then I'll go ahead and just disarm to be safe. And our motors are all spinning in the proper direction. And if you're not aware of this, if your motors are spinning you know, in the opposite direction you need them to, you can just basically switch any two of these three uh, ESC leads and that will reverse uh, the motor spin direction. Okay, right before you fly you want to get your quad on the basically the surface that you're going to uh, take off from and so I'll just put it on the ground and we're gonna do an ACC calibration so we'll let that run through the routine
and then we're just going to go back out to the default menu and now we're going to do a quick test of our transmitter sticks and then we'll take it for our initial flight okay so I'm going to go ahead and arm the KK board now we'll just start with a little bit of throttle that looks good now we're going to we're going to test our yaw input so I'm going to yaw right yaw left so that appears to be responding well. Now we'll do our right stick, our elevator, or our pitch, and then our roll. So pitch forward, pitch back, left. So everything is responding properly. This transmitter isn't uh, one of the better ones, but we at least have the ability to reverse our servo input. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind if you're pushing left and it's going right or vice versa. Okay, for the first test flight, we're going to uh, fly in auto level mode. And as you can see, it's currently off. So uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm actually going to set it uh, to on using our control sticks on the transmitter. So the way we would do that is with one stick we're down and to the left and then with the aileron we go right and now if you look back at the board you'll see that your auto level should be turned on and there we are. So go ahead and arm it and let's give the auto level a try. I'll bring it over a little bit closer. Pretty good. I'm, I'm still having to counteract some of the movements. So you'll notice like if I let go of the sticks real quick. So there it is. Kind of drifts to the right still. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and land and then I'm going to leave it at that for now. In the next video I'm actually going to walk you through tuning your PI settings as well as uh, getting your auto level dialed in and actually we'll, we'll work it into this auxiliary switch on channel 5 so that we can switch back and forth uh, between manual mode and auto level mode. So as you can see the KK board makes it pretty easy to uh, get definitely get your quad in the air and then now it's just a matter of fine tuning. So um, hope this was useful and be on the lookout for my tuning video. Post any comments or questions below and thank you for watching.